I'm taking you to Lake Bohen and Bled, the two most beautiful lakes in Slovenia. Look how gorgeous the view is. Let's go exploring. If you guys think it's easy creating good content, think again, it's not. Welcome to the two most beautiful lakes in Slovenia, Lake Bohin and Lake Bled. And in this video, I will show you the gorgeousness of these two stunning, stunning lakes. Now, Slovenia is famous for Bled, but there are more than 320 lakes here and you have no shortage of beautiful places. So I chose the two that are two that are close to each other. I'm sitting at Lake Bohin and later on we will go explore Lake Bled. Slovenia is a country that takes pride in its nature being wild. Did you know more than 54 to 60% of the country is actually protected and they take huge pride in it? Well, look around me, why wouldn't they? So without wasting more time, let's go explore this beautiful place. I have just arrived in Lake Bohin. It took a couple of hours on the bus. It was really beautiful on the way. But truth be told, I wasn't super excited because it's been raining for the last two days and still raining, but I wasn't ready for this. Look at that. Why do people not mention this more often? Why do people not come here? I think it's because of the rain, but I'm literally the only person here. There's no one else. It is crazy beautiful. Well, I'm gonna show you the hotel where I'm staying because it is, it totally matches this beauty. It's a contemporary style Slovenian chalet type vibe. Let's go check that out and I'll show you more of this beautiful lake then. And there's nothing else I'm gonna do today. This is Hotel Bohin and I really loved it here. So I made a separate video for the hotel, including that amazing floating breakfast. Click on the link above for that. And also their beautiful spa, which I absolutely highly recommend. To check out that, click on the link above here. It is a little rainy and a cloudy day but honestly I'm quite happy because I got to explore this beautiful lake with all these clouds floating around. Absolutely mesmerizing. place is beyond incredible. Seriously! I've rented a bike and I'm gonna go around on this. It is so peaceful and calm. Cycling here is so beautiful. Look at that. Cycling around is the best possible way to enjoy this beautiful lake. And the best part is that you can just stop at any time and you can enjoy the views. Look how beautiful this church is. I absolutely love these cute little surprise. I have another one for you. We're heading to a little beach.
The best part of cycling here is it's quite easy. The roads are really beautiful and you can just get off at any point and explore around. It is so quiet here and the lake is just changing colors. Wow, okay. Let's go check out the beach. so quiet here that actually I can hear my own heartbeat which I haven't experienced in such a long time. I just can't get over how beautiful this lake is especially with all these clouds floating around. Let's go back I need to show you a beautiful viewpoint though. Just gotten to the viewpoint and look, the weather has opened up. Yes, finally some sun. Let me introduce you to Zlatarogar, the Golden Horn. It's a fascinating legend, according to which this used to be the Garden of Eden, and Zlatarog actually adopted an orphan boy. Who, he raised him, and when the boy grew up, he fell in love with a girl who told him, I will marry you, just need to bring me the treasure of Golden Horn. He went into the jungle, hunted him, and where the blood of Golden Horn fell, they it came out this herb or a flower, I don't remember exactly, but he ate it and he regained his strength. He was obviously very pissed off with the boy at this point, so he threw him down this massive cliff. Now he still wasn't happy, so he went around in a massive rage and threw things around and that's how all of this came into being. Interesting, right? So they have other stories of similar nature. The goat changes, but this is a sort of reminder of how precious the nature is because Lotharog treasure was not his horns, but all of this beauty around. Amazing, isn't it? If you want to explore the lake by boat, they have tours throughout the day, seven or eight different times. So you can easily chill out, go on the boat and relax. Enjoy this beautiful lake. If you like a bit more of adrenaline rush, you can also get an SUP, a canoe or um, a kayak or a sit on top canoe. I honestly don't know the difference between them, but they are different apparently. So I'm just giving you all the options that I saw. Also, if you want to do a bit more of an adventure, you can also do paragliding and honestly i would have loved to see in that but i didn't know the option existed before i came here so next time if you don't like cycling you can also go walking it's no less gorgeous on any side seriously wow absolutely stunning beautiful evening I walked around and really loved it. It's not just peace and quiet, it's also super safe and I got to see these beautiful landscapes with the lake and ton of flowers. Everything that makes you happy, right? I'm celebrating my last day here with a beautiful floating breakfast and then I'll show you what the lake looks like when it's sunny. Please do check my Slovenia playlist because you will find some more beautiful spots you can see in this beautiful country. I'm ready to head to Lake Bled now, but my God, the weather just cleared up suddenly. 
and then I had to show you this. It's almost like the lake said, I'm not going to let you leave without seeing me in all my glory. So I've seen it in clouds, in rain, and now with this. Ah. Oh. And every time I say, wow, but wow, I feel like a babbling child right now. No words. Yeah, I'll let you enjoy this and then we'll move on to Pled. They are roughly a bus every hour between Bohin and Bled and they're very comfortable, super cheap and the way is really beautiful and it only takes 35-40 minutes to get from one to the other. Hello from Lake Bled, from both of us. Actually, all three of us. <laughs> so I've just gotten here and the first thing I did was rent a bike so I could go around. This is honestly the perfect place to just bike around. It is amazing. I am sitting right next to the heart of Bled and there's a gorgeous gorgeous castle right on top there so i'm gonna go to the other side because the view of um, the island is much better from there also we'll do a little bit of a hike up to get a better view so without wasting more time let's go If you like nature and like to find more beautiful spots, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I cycled for about 20 minutes and this is the first viewpoint I'm at. Absolutely stunning and the sun has completely come out so it's really nice. Now it's time to go up and see the view of the entire lake. Let's go. By the way, cycling here is really fun. And despite what it looks like, it's not a lot of up and down. So if you want to go to the island, you need to come to the shore and just take one of these boats. They run throughout the day, so you shouldn't have a lot of problem with that. And it's 25 minutes each way and then 45 minutes to spend on the island. It's a relatively easy hike that takes about 20 to 30 minutes. And look, this is what you get when you get to the top. definitely recommend coming in the second half so you can take perfect photos because the sun is right behind you. Look how gorgeous the view is. Slovenia just keeps getting better and better. Okay, what better place than this to tell you the creation legend of Lake Bled. According to the story, this all used to be pastures with lush green grass and this place where the island is, that's where fairies used to live and dance at night. During the day, the shepherds would come bring their sheep or would eat the grass. Now the fairies warned the shepherds about their beautiful lush green grass who didn't pay much attention. The sheep ate all the grass. The youngest and prettiest of the fairy actually fell and broke down, broke her leg while dancing. And that infuriated the fairies who told all the streams around to flood this area and you have leg blood. Amazing story, right? I'm gonna, I'm really tired. So I'm just gonna go back down and cycle back. I'll show you the view and I'll meet you tomorrow. I'm spending two days at each lake and I would recommend keeping one day for Bohin and one or two days for Bled. Any less than that and you just won't get the same experience. Good morning. I was planning on taking you to the Windgar Gorge today, which is only three and a half kilometers from Bled and it's a nice easy cycle ride. I even rented a cycle and then I thought, okay, let me take some beautiful drone shots of this gorgeous castle which is amazing today and my drone got stuck 
So I found out that if you run up, you can get to the castle in five minutes. And basically this is me after that. So I have like no energy left to do much. Luckily there's a guy from agency who helped secure it. And yeah, if you guys think it's easy creating good content, think again, it's not. So without wasting more time, let's look around. Running around like that does cost you some serious energy and that I learned that day. So I decided not to go inside the castle. I've been to the one inside Ljubljana. I instead decided to stay at the fair, which was a lot more fun. This is the church of St. Martina. And yes, it's not very popular as a tourist destination, but I would definitely recommend stepping in. I really liked it. It's quite beautiful inside and outside both. Hello, miss. How are you doing? Do you mind if I join you? Look who I found. Little Miss Tang with her cute little babies. And they're having the best time overlooking this beautiful lake. Lucky her, I'm jealous. If you think Bled and Bohin are beautiful, wait till I take you to the Julian Alps. Mountain gorges, lakes, waterfalls, mountain passes, they have everything here. So click that link above and meet me there and let's explore it together, right? This is all from the beautiful Bohin and Lake Bled. Time to go, sadly. This is Brown Boy Travels, and I hope you really liked this video. If you did, please do like, subscribe, and comment, and let me know some amazing destinations in your country. I would love to come. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, you have an amazing day ahead. Mwah.